Hey guys, I'm back again. Uh, I just wanted to show you the finished slime animation. This is what I've been working on pretty much all week. I didn't get a chance to get that many hours in, and also I just spent many, many hours on this slime. Don't know how much, how many I spent, maybe like 15 or something like that. I don't know. It took a long time, mainly because I haven't animated in a while, in many years. The only real animation I did recently was the NPC walk animation. So I'm still kind of shaking off the cobwebs a bit. Um, also slime is, is pretty difficult. I only really did slime once before, uh, much in a much older game that I made. And yeah, if you didn't know, I, uh, I quit animation for quite a while, like five years or something like that. So this is like the first animation I've done in a long time that was kind of difficult. Um, so yeah, this is going to be when the slime is just sliding along the ground. It's just kind of, it's like a walk animation kind of. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just show you some of the, some of the interesting stuff. Um, I added little pieces that fly off. So there's one that flies off on the left side, and then there's a bunch that come off uh, on the right, well, when it bounces on the left side, there's one that comes off, and then when it bounces on the right side, there's three that come off. Um, and then when the ball is really, uh, I'll just explain the pieces that come off. So, <clears throat> so, okay, so the ball's falling down, like the main ball. Then when it squishes against the ground, that impact causes something to, you know, squirt out. So you get one piece that squirts out on the left. And then I just make it disappear. Um, whereas other pieces will fall into the blob. Um, so for example, I'll show you this piece right here. See this dot falls into the goo. So when it falls into the goo, I make it do like a ripple effect. So um, you can see when it lands, when the piece lands, um, so you can see its trajectory, it kind of falls in. It's not really that easy to see there, but um, it falls in and then it just does like a ripple effect. So yeah, I was pretty happy with that. And then same on this side. Um, like a piece when it squashes on the on the right side, a piece kind of comes flying out, like right here, and then it when it comes back into the blob, it'll do a little ripple effect. And then there's one other piece that comes flying off when it hits the right side. Um, that's right here, and that piece just disappears into nothing. Um, so yeah. On the left side, when it squashes on the left side, I think it looks a little bit more realistic, it, like obeys the laws of physics a bit more. On the right side, um, I didn't want it to look like symmetrical, like I didn't want to just reuse the same animation twice. I wanted to have more variety. So I tried out something a little different where like a wave kind of crashes out. Um, and then you know, something kind of weird happens on the right side where, see like there's no big, like on most of it, there's a big circle, um, like a center of mass or whatever. But when it hits the right side, the circle just kind of disappears. So there is no circle here. And then it kind of just reappears. Like the circle just kind of comes out of nowhere. So it doesn't really obey the laws of physics as well as the left side. But I think it looks kind of cool. Um, then also when when the when the ball is like stretched out from the from the legs, I added these little gaps. Um, so I think it makes a little bit more sense because uh, that's just what you would expect from slime. And the gap changes depending on like the left the right side the left side has a bigger gap than the right side and then the right side has a bigger gap than the left side because of the tra trajectory of the ball kind of um yeah and then i also the last video i hadn't done the legs yet um so i just added the legs the legs are pretty simple 
they just kind of, they're supposed to be kind of moving in a circle, but you can only see like the front ones. And they also speed up a little bit. Right when it hits here, they speed up a little bit. That was on purpose. It's just barely noticeable though. I didn't want them to move the exact same speed the whole time. Um, but yeah, so overall I'm really happy with it. Uh, just the only issue was it took way too long to make. Um, but I, it's pretty tough to animate and um, I hadn't animated in a long time. And on top of all of that, uh, this slime is like a pretty important enemy because I'm gonna reuse uh, this animation. So there's gonna be like a green slime and a pink slime. Like I can, sh I'll just go like this. For example, I could make it pink, maybe like that. So now we have pink slime. Uh, but yeah, there's going to be multiple colors of the slime and some of them are going to share functionality. So they're all going to have the same explode animation when they're when they're killed. And then most of them are going to have a walk animation, I think. And then each slime has its own like special things that it does. But the walk animation is, is really important because I think they all are going to have a walk animation. So... I'm going to be, re since I'm reusing this animation for multiple enemies, like multiple different types of slimes, it, it makes it more important so I can justify spending more time on it. Oh, they're all selected now. Now it doesn't look good. Um, but yeah, so. Yeah, when you, <laughs> when you do what I just did, it, it selects everything. So now when I play the animation, it's got this like selected stuff on it, but whatever. Yeah, okay, so anyway, um, in the real game, it's probably gonna be closer to this size. I think it looks pretty good. I also in-betweened it from last time. So last time, instead of animating every single one of these frames, I was cutting it like I, it was uh, spaced out more. Kind of hard to explain, but um, like instead of doing, like right now we have 43, frames at 30 frames per second before there was like 21 frames at 15 frames per second so it's called in betweening when you add in frames in between and it makes the animation smoother with slime i wanted to add a lot of in-betweens because the slime um, is supposed to be like kind of fluid and also um, in betweening the slime is super easy like if i were going to in between this right now i could easily Go like this, go like that. Okay, that wouldn't be too easy, but if I go like that. So now all I'd be doing is uh, just going like this, drawing like the in-between. Sometimes I would go with like the outline so I could see exactly what I'm doing. But like in-betweening slime is super easy, so I don't mind doing the in-betweens. And also I want it to look fluid. Hopefully I didn't just double one of the frames. Okay, it's fine. So anyway, uh, yeah, I was super happy with that. Um, I mentioned in the previous video that the slime's gonna be able to climb up walls and stuff. Uh, one cool thing about that is when it hits the wall, it's gonna stop. Like, so it's normally gonna be playing a, a walk animation. When it hits the wall, it's gonna stop walk, like it's gonna stop moving but it'll continue playing the walk animation until it gets to a certain frame. So it'll probably stop at like this frame and then it'll play a transition animation. So like it'll like climb up the wall a bit. Um, so basically it'll, there won't be any like jagged, um, like abrupt changes in movement. It's going to be f smooth no matter what happens um, because I'll know exactly what frame it starts and ends on. Um, the only only time there might be an issue is when it when I kill it because I can't I can't wait for it to catch up to a certain animation frame when you kill it. But um, it'll that that particular animation since it's exploding it, it's it's already going to be abrupt, so it, I'm not too worried about that. So I think um, you'll see when I add in the other animations, which I'm not sure if I'll do them right away or not. Um, but you'll see when I add in the other slime animations, everything will be super smooth, and everything will transition like perfectly basically. So I'm really excited about that. 
Um, yeah, I think that's about all to say. I, I, I tried some different like shine. I settled on just this like white half, you know, like half transparent white. I think it looks fine. I was gonna do like some darker spot in the middle maybe. And I decided it was too busy. So yeah, this is it. Um, yeah, so anyway, I was pretty happy with that. Um, I think that's about all I'm gonna say. Hopefully I can get, uh, get the progress going a bit quicker, but this was a lot of work. <laughs> anyway, okay, uh, see you next week.